coffee this morning. Are you coming into the office tonight? <laughs> but I'm already at work, and we're back. Here I am, Fly Navarro with Fly Zone Fishing. I'm here with my man Don Dale with D hey Day. All right. Don, you got all this incredible first aid stuff, this medical stuff, but the most important part is knowing how to use it properly. Absolutely. Training is my biggest pet peeve, right? People say, oh yeah, I've had the training. Oh yeah, I've done this. I did the course. I did. No. You have to train. And if your training doesn't include opening up the packages, hands on, skill stations, doing scenarios, some type of dynamic scenario that challenges you on the skills that you learned in that course and uh, reinforces the training then you have nothing, this is a paperweight. All, all that you can have the greatest kit in the world, spend all the money in the world, and you will open that up during a medical crisis and you won't know what to do. So I'm, I'm big on, in our training, you're ripping packages open, you're putting on pressure dressings, you're... Don't take that thing out. All right, Eight. you're taking out the hypothermia blanket so you know what it looks like. Exactly. Okay, and I mean a burn dressing. Hey, what does this thing look like inside? I know it gets expensive. But that's what real training is, okay? We can show you, hey, look, this is gel. See, it's cool. It works well for a burn. I don't want the first time that you're in a crazy situation, medical crisis trying to save a life, you know, or make a situation better. It's the first time you look at this thing. This seems simple. People look at this like a hog looking at a wristwatch. We, in training, squeeze the top off. If we need to clean, you know, irrigate an eye or irrigate a wound, we squeeze it and it squirts out. Very simple, but a lot of people have not used this or seen it. I'm glad you aimed it that way. Well, I did that. I was being nice. Okay. We spent most a nice people, morning most together. people would be I'm shooting not, it this I'm way. not there yet, okay. but we may get there. We it, may get the there. The day is young yet. Absolutely. So training, you know, sometimes people hold a CPR certification. They're like, hey, man, I'm CPR qualified. I, I know how to do chest compressions. You know, a lot of courses, you know, unfortunately, are just like death by PowerPoint. You, you can't just look at the PowerPoint. You can't just draw a picture of it. You, you gotta, gotta practice it. You gotta do the hands-on skills and you have to be trained by somebody who has done it before in a real situation. And one of the biggest things is people get trained one time, possibly, and then they forget about it. These are perishable skills. Unless you're a medical professional doing this all the time, you're gonna lose that skill and you're gonna get rusty. So you might as well keep it up. Absolutely. Recommend you doing a refresher course, redo your certifications, and stay up on the items in your medical kit. You heard Don. Thanks for joining us here in the Fly Zone.